Let's go! What's up, everyone? Thank you for joining us once again on the D-Star Zero One channel. I'm your host, Dexter Oraculous, and today we'll be looking at the SH Figure Arts Super Saiyan Full Power Sun Goku. I got this from Amazon.jp. I only got him for about, let's see, I think it was like 45 ship, which is a really good price for this guy. Don't know if you can still get him from Amazon.jp, but when this guy comes in stock, you know where to go. You can always go to www.dstartoys.com and reliable source for awesome action figures. I'm going to get quite a few of these. I think I got 72 on order. On order. So uh, when I get him, yeah, he's going to be available on dstartoys.com. But before that, we got to look at him. We're going to look at paint detail, articulation, and scale, and accessories. So enough of me talking. Let's go to the top cam. Now, I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys. When I first got this, uh, because, you know, Amazon.jp, they try to... Uh, ship this guy as cheaply as possible he was shipped in a plastic bag no no a paper paper package type thing and I was like did I get another clone <laughs> I honestly thought it was a clone when it came in but it wasn't I was like okay good and another thing that happened look at the box it did not come in good condition from amazon.jp unfortunately so yeah my my box ended up being damaged but you know what I'm gonna open him up any I was gonna open him up anyway, I'm not gonna save this one for, you know, future sale. But there he is. He's looking really good. We have a ton of Gokus here we're gonna compare him to. But first and foremost, let's see how the figure looks by himself. So, enough of me talking about that. Let's zoom into this guy's face. Is this the best looking Super Saiyan? Almost Super Saiyan 2 Goku head. It's almost, it's not quite there. Um, because, uh, because of the little pop-up little, uh, bang right there. I'm talking about this one. He's definitely full-powered. But, yeah, the face, a lot of people were complaining about. And if you want my honest opinion on this face, it's not bad. I really like it. Um, there's nothing really wrong with it. Uh, a lot of people say, it doesn't really look like Goku. But I'm like, you know, <laughs> it, it does. This is how he looks like when he's really serious, super full-powered. At least that's what I see when I saw him. I think this is Cell Saga uh, Super Saiyan Goku. So for sure, yeah, to me, that definitely looks like Super Saiyan Goku to me. So there you go. Also, another thing I have to say about this guy, his price point is really inexpensive. I think he's only going to be like 34 bucks. So you're going to pay about $40 ship for this guy if you were to get him. Uh, not from a toy store or online. And yeah, he's not bad. I mean, most... SH Figure Arts are going for like 60 bucks, and I'm actually really happy that Goku is under $40. So, uh, another thing we have to note, let's look at the outfit that he has going on here. Typically, we do not get the cummerbund. That's what I'm going to call this. Or we can call it the sash belt. Yeah, we'll call it the sash belt. Um, usually, we just have a regular belt. The Saiyan Raised on Earth belt looks like this. Um, it's the tie belt. As you can see, but this one we have the sash belt, which looks really solid. Also, the blue on the undershirt is extremely dark, like really deep blue, almost black. And that looks really, really sharp on him, I think. Uh, one thing I believe that this figure actually is missing, and I think this goes for most uh, SH figure arts under the price of $40, and especially Goku. He's missing a matte finish on a lot of his parts. Uh, you can see some inconsistencies in the light, whereas the pants right here, you can see it's like a, a decent matte finish on the pants, whereas the rest of them kind of just shines off. And if you're wondering, oh, man, it makes him look kind of cheap, don't worry if you have. Uh, let's see, where is it? I don't have it with me right now. Oh, yeah, yeah, I do. If you have premium top coat, you could easily make this guy look like a $60 Goku with one simple step. Uh, Mr. Hobby Top Coat is the best stuff out there, in my opinion, and nothing can replace this. I get this a lot on Instagram. What can I do to make it look good without actually look using Mr. Hobby? And I'm all like, no, you can't. You can't. Mr. Hobby is the best way to do it. You don't use anything else. There is no substitute for Mr. Hobby Flack Topco. Okay, period. There you go. 
Uh, so I'm probably going to give him a nice spray just to get rid of that shine. I don't like that shine, but again, you're paying under 40 bucks for a really good looking Goku, in my opinion. So there you have it. The boots are, let's look at the boots, are extremely dark. Look at the darkness of those boots. Wow. I thought they'd lighten it up just a little bit on the actual, but no, we're looking at a much, uh, all the blues on this guy is really dark. So there you have it. There is our Goku with the green eyes in the Super Saiyan form, full power. I have to say he's looking really good. No real issues. Also, the skin tone, I haven't really talked about the skin tone, looking really good. Looks like there's a nice, decent matte finish on there. And, you know, this is pretty much another Goku figure. Like, how many Goku figures do you need? I mean, I have so many on my table right now, and it's not even all of the Goku figures that I own. Speaking of which, let's talk about that. So let's start um, Let's start comparing. So here we go. We have the event-exclusive UI sign Goku. Um, we have the resurrection of... And all these are real, by the, well, except for one of them, which I'll show you in a, in a bit. Uh, resurrection F Goku right there. Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan... The real deal, Super Saiyan God, Goku right there, um, Kaioken, Goku, um, yeah, we're just going to keep Gokuing it up, we have Ultra Instinct Perfected, I think that's what it was called in the manga, Goku, um, and, and we have, now this is the one that you really should be comparing it to. Uh, even though the head is incorrect, because this is actually a uh, a custom um, from Fairy Tale Customs. The head is a Fairy Tale Customs um, <clears throat> Super Saiyan two head. This is the original Super Saiyan Goku. So these two are the ones you really should be comparing the bodies to. And let me tell you right now, um, I like the blue on this one, the the new one, much better. The body is also a little bit more buffer, thicker more stronger i guess that's what when i look at it this one's a little bit too thin for me also i'm not a fan i know there's a lot of people oh, i love version one i'm not a version one fan these joints are looser than ever <laughs> and i don't even play with this figure and this figure just like is a loosey-goosey type figure I, I do not like it but version two is the way to go when you're talking about joints that keep that consistent tightness um, so yeah, let me know what you think down in the comments down below. Do you prefer the very first edition Super Saiyan Goku or are you digging the full power Goku? Oh, you thought we were done though. No, no, no. So here's kind of the fake. Um, it's the Limit Breaker Demonical Fit Goku. Uh, last but not last Goku. We're going to put another one up here that's not quite Goku. Is the Super Saiyan three let's put these guys aside actually let's put every all the gokus aside because we're almost done here super saiyan three goku and last but not least we have a custom here which looks really cool that my homie bez Strukin sold me and this is a ultimate gohan which is based off the um saiyan raised on earth goku uh if you're wondering well where's your saiyan raised on earth goku uh, I don't know where he is right now. I think I, I think he's he's at home. I'm at the office today. So there you have it. That's that's all the Goku's that I have at the at the shop. Um, that's all the comparisons we can do. There's so many Goku. Gosh, there's so many Goku's. How many Goku's do I have? Uh, let's keep going here. We do have a Marvel Legends Wolverine right here to compare. Oops, since he falls, and there you have it, right here. So it looks like it does work out. And a Figma link. Let's see if we can adjust the camera. There you have it. And so then that's it. Oh, yeah, why not? Another character, Master Roshi. <laughs> anyway, guys, let's talk about articulation. Should be the exact same as all the other Gokus from SH Figure Arts. Took out that plastic. We have an up and down here at the toe. We have ball joint here at the ankle we have a double jointed knee right there we have the fighting body triple jointed hip right there so you can get some solid front kicks side kicks flying knees and whatnot you can get all kinds of stuff going on here get him in his fighting pose no, that, i can't see let's see if we can the one where he's about to fight vegeta in this in the saiyan saga something like that um and we have two joints here in the midsection so decent rotation there, not a full rotation. It shouldn't be actually, 
So there you have it, two joints right there, and we, we have awesome ab crunch right here. And we have butterfly joints right here at the shoulder and a bicep swivel. Always love a bicep swivel. Bicep swivels are for the win. Uh, bend at the elbow right here with a double jointed elbow, ball and peg here at the wrist, and two joints at the neck. Looking to be well above 20 points of articulation. Let's get this guy going. Of course, we got to do a superhero landing pose. So you can activate all the joints. And I like to do this pose just because it really does flex all the joints that this guy has, right? Every joint is pretty much being activated when you do this pose. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we have a front kick right there. Again, side kick, flying knee, short you can right here. And yeah, I have to say he's looking really cool. Let's do a flying kick right here. That looks really solid. Ooh, look at this. I love this pose right here. Bam. Or maybe if he's flying towards you. Right? That's pretty cool too. So far, I'm really digging this. I mean, it's pretty much just Saiyan Raisin on Earth Goku in a different uniform. So let's go to the top can. Let's look at accessories here. Uh, here's the face that everyone's like, oh my gosh, what is this? We're, we're going to look at that. Uh, and of course, we have two very angry faces. Um, and we get the instant transmission hands. To my surprise, I don't think we've ever gotten two instant transmission hands usually we only get like the right hand i think or the left hand now we have the right and left hand we got the posing hands right there and the the key blast hand and the kamehameha hands which is really really cool uh i think we're gonna look at no we'll look at the hands at the end uh, i never really usually don't do that it's just like you know they're pretty much hands so what we're gonna look at here is the face everyone has kind of been torn on but you know what? When I look at this face, I just like to see a happy Goku. Come on. I mean, it's just like... <laughs> I mean, he's happy, right? I mean, what more could you ask for? <laughs> this is Cell Saga um, Goku when he was training before the Cell Saga just to maintain his Super Saiyan look. And there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, that's how he looked like. I thought he did. Let me know what you think down in the comments down below. I know there's going to be some debate on this one. Like, no, it's ugly. No, it's not quite accurate. You know what? I don't have an issue with it, personally. I think it's... I hate to say it, it's actually kind of cute. <laughs> it's just weird. But anyway, let's remove that. Also, here's another thing that I did notice. Uh, look at this. This is kind of different. Ooh, this is very, very different. Um, when I say different, let me show you what I mean. Uh, let me grab him. So here is the Fairy Tale Customs, which is based off the version one Super Saiyan Goku head. And if you look here, you'll notice that the four sockets for the faceplate and the hair, they're pretty much flush. Whereas this one wraps around the ball joint, which I'm starting to think that ball joint might be different. So. If you break yours, I'm not sure if my joint set that I 3D print will work. I haven't tested it yet, so I'm probably going to see if that might be a figure fix Friday. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, that is way different. As you can see here, there is a curve right here, and it wraps around the joint. So it is different. So if you were wondering, hey, will this work? If Can I, can I switch out this head? I honestly can't tell you right now. I'll probably do a quick cut after we're done with the conclusion, and we'll see where that goes. Um, so yeah, let's move on. So here is a yelling face. Oh wait, wrong hair. Sorry. Ooh, I really like this yelling face. It just looks a lot more animated. Like, I really dig that actually. This one is my favorite face. I, I like this one. This one's pretty cool. Just straight up yelling. And uh, here is a grinning face. And there is the grinning face right there. This one looks pretty cool too. Um, so yeah, there you have it. That is it when it comes to the faces. 
Uh, what we're going to do now, I'm just going to pull out some of these hands, let them drop. And what I'm going to do is we're going to double instant transmission on this guy. Everyone, please stand by. And there you have it, da baby. <laughs> Uh, there you have instant transmission, uh, double hands, and that looks pretty cool. That looks great. I like this. So, let's come with a conclusion. Um, let's talk about the negatives. Uh, this is pretty much, let's be real. Let's. Who, who are we kidding? There's a reason why this figure is at a lower price point, and that reason is they have made so many Gokus that this body has been used so many times. <laughs> I think the only difference, like I said before, is the shirt is different. Uh, it has the V cut, whereas the Saiyan Rays on Earth one is much higher cut. Um, and also, it's just painted differently. The inner shirt is a darker blue. Um, but yeah, he's pretty much just the same Goku figure. It's just another Goku figure to add to my collection. I mean, I already own the original, so pretty much what this guy was designed for, and this is... I, I, this is what I believe. This is not necessarily true. Um, I think people who missed out on the original Super Saiyan Goku, which was like what? Oh man, that was like seven years ago. Jeez, this is your chance to get a Super Saiyan Goku again, uh, and, and for a lower price point. So that's pretty cool. You can't hate him for that. Um, so here's the positives. Yeah, I love this figure. Looks great. Love the hair. It's just a solid yellow. There's a little bit of shading right here. Love the way that looks. Love the way he looks. A lot of people are saying that, hey, his face doesn't look cool. But you know what? I commend them for trying something different. This looks really, really interesting. I love the the, the happy Super Saiyan look. The angry faces and everything like that. Really, really detailed. Love the head sculpt and everything like that. Uh, I did test it out. Yes, the neck peg is exactly the same as all the other Gokus. So that's pretty cool, as you can see here. I put the Ultra Instinct perfected body with the full power Super Saiyan head, and that's pretty cool. As you can see here is the full power body right here. So I pulled it out, and as you can see, the um, what do you call this? The neck peg right there is exactly the same as all the other Goku. So that's pretty cool right there. So if you were wondering, can you swap the heads out? Yes, you can. So that's pretty cool. Love this figure. I gotta say, I, I recommend it. If you're looking to pick it up, you know where to go. You can go to www.dstartoys.com and have a special awesome action figure. He's not available yet, but he will be. Oh, yeah, and last but not least, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're always in the know when I post new videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Watching, so rate, comment, 
and subscribe right here, right there, right here. Yeah.